It's 11, 11 before the top of the hour. Tom and Sybil return on uh, January 2nd at the Addison Improv doing a four-night stand. Yeah. Mm, my man, actor, comedian, Tony Rock. Uh, excuse me, brother. It's comedian, actor. Comedian, hey. actor. Come Comedy on. comes actor. first. Okay. Hey. Y'all always say that. Yes, man. <laughs> It's Comedy the opened time. the door for us to get into acting. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. And Com- you're doing a little producing, too. I, right? I do a little producing, doing okay. some producing. And uh, okay. 19, hope to be doing a lot more producing. A comedian, actor, producer. Wow. Tony Rock, man. You know what? Uh, we were trying to, we were thinking about trying to get into heaven because uh, uh, living <laughs> biblically. Uh, <laughs> I think that inspired a lot of people. Is that coming back, y'all? Living biblically has been canceled, but the good, the, the silver lining in living biblically, the whole experience was great yeah. working with CBS. It's like a whole other league working yeah. from because when yeah. I was on all of us it was UPN mm-hmm. uh, living biblically with CBS mm-hmm. and you can see the difference trust me <laughs> <laughs> everything's different but the good thing about biblically being canceled was I, yeah. I, I popped up on CBS's radar so now mm-hmm. they're trying to find something good to do stuff. for Tony Rock oh that's great so, Tony yeah. congratulations when I, when I said producing more it's like I have an idea now instead of like waiting to get on the next show that yeah. somebody's yeah. casting I'm going to try to this is my chance to try to get my show through the door. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, Tony, you remember when I, when I saw you on that show, I texted you right away. You made yes, it, you did. Yeah, you did. Yes, yes. <laughs> the black guy on, the, on the CBS yeah, show. Off, the uh, CBS, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> he was like, we did it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Represent for us. Oh, man. David said, we in there. Right. <laughs> man, we made it. Uh, was Christmas good for you, bro? Christmas is always good for man. me, man. Every, you know, Christmas is great. It's, You've got uh, such a huge family, too, though. You, but you know what? I, I yeah. As I've grown and gotten older, I embrace the real, true Christmas. Uh-huh. So yeah. it's just about family time and yeah. you know, spend, spending time with your family. You shouldn't have to go broke to prove your love to your family members. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't go right. crazy with the gifts like I used to. Now it's just, hey, man, I'm going to show up and we'll eat mm-hmm. and tell stories and enjoy. How many brothers and sisters you talking about? Uh, man, seven brothers, two sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then I have those friends that I'm like, this uh-huh. could be my brother and this yeah. could right, be my sister. Right. Yeah. You know, your friends are your brothers and sisters that you get to pick. Yeah. I did not know it was that many of you. That's yeah. a lot. You thought that's it was just a... me and Chris. No, I knew it was a few more, but not seven brothers and two oh, sisters. That's yeah, nine man. babies. Yeah, man. Well, y'all get All along, right. like everybody tight. Nobody got nine good friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Nobody got nine best friends. <laughs> Same with siblings, like two or three you love, the rest is like, hey, where's my money? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what impresses me? One thing about Tony Rock is that, you know, I see you uh, somewhat active on social media, but I oh, never I get see in you. Trouble on social media, but man. I never uh. see you uh, tweeting hate, or, you know, or trying to yeah. get at people. And there's a know, hit out right now. No, I've said a few things that I I was just speaking my mind, and people yeah. thought it was hate, but it was just me talking. I talk, right. I, I talk. My issue is I probably talk on Twitter too much like I talk to my friends. Mm -hmm. But that seems to be everybody's problem, Tony. And what do you think about that? Because there's like a hit out right now on Mm -hmm. black comics. Kevin Hart, your brother just got tagged about it. Oh, can we can we can we talk about that? Can we talk about that? Let's do it. Of course. All right. First and and just background. You want to give the background, or you want me to give it? You you do it, Tony. You tell the story. Your voice is 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 savory. You you give the backstory. (laughs) (laughs) I got the goods, boo. You know it. But the story is that Chris Rock, uh, back in, what was it, 2011, I think, they did a comedy special. It was Seinfeld, Chris Rock, Louis C.K., um, I forget who else was uh, Ricky there. Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. And um, Chris made the comment to Louis that you are the blackest white guy I've ever met. And so Louis comes back and is like, oh, you calling me an N-word? Right. And Chris is like, yeah, you the n word white right. man I've ever met. Right. And... Social media lit up about it yesterday. Black people were offended. They uh, really, really came down hard on Chris. But this is something that happened several years ago. And in context, it was among friends. You put it in perspective for us, Tony. Okay, first and foremost, like I have to, I I don't know how much time I have, but I have to give my disclaimer before I say whatever I have to say because I know people are going to be coming at me on social media later. Um, I don't care what you think, okay? Boom, let's just put that out there. That's understood. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) second of all, uh, Going into 2019, I have embraced my pettiness full on, and uh, I'm I'm Petty Murphy. 
<laughs> and I'm going to be more petty in 2019. So I'm going to say this. Yeah. I've said a lot of stuff on social media right. and said stuff to TMZ guys and gotten backlash. And right. my brother's never stepped up and took my side on it yeah. and was like, yo, I'm, I'm riding with my brother. <laughs> really? So I'm going to be petty and not ride with him on this. <laughs> That's my 2019. If you ain't riding with me, I'm not riding with you. My car is a one-seater in 2019. <laughs> That's real family But let's say this. But let's, right. let's, let's say this. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to be I'm gonna be serious now. So, yeah. so the in, first and foremost, first and foremost, people don't know this, and I'm not, I'm not trying to like you know get away from what you, the question being asked. Louis C.K. is of Mexican descent. People don't know that. Mm. Louis C.K. is a Mexican. He mm. hasn't embraced his culture fully, but that's a whole other story. Uh, right. So the N word. We've gotten into this place with this space where certain people can say it, certain people can't say it, certain people can say it, certain people can say it in a context, certain people can't say it in this. Listen, mm -hmm. the only way to truly get across the board understanding of how divisive this word is, uh -huh. is and acidic this word is, is nobody should use it. Mm. So there can't be a you can say it, but we can't say it. Let's look at it this way. Sickle cell was created to destroy the black man, right? If right. we had mm -hmm. the cure for sickle cell, should we say, hey, it only affects us, so we should keep it? <laughs> that's the n-word wow and well we don't we the only ones that's affected by it so we mm -hmm. should keep it no mm -hmm. if that's the case we should destroy it across the board and the thing is this let's go a little bit bigger we have embraced so much since slavery that we should not have embraced mm -hmm. that is so in our culture we don't even realize we should have got away from it once we became free men and yeah, women. chitlins. For Once him. we got free, first, <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're right. Listen, yeah. they gave us, they gave us, they fed us scraps the that they fed their yeah. dogs mm -hmm. and their pigs, mm -hmm. and we turned it into magic because that's what black people do. Yes. Yeah. They're but right. once we became free men and women, we should have been like, we don't, we don't eat this anymore. Mm -hmm. But we turned it into magic. Yes. Delicacy. And now yeah. white people line the co lines around the building to come and eat this See stuff what it's about. that they, mm -hmm. yeah, they yeah, fed yeah, their yeah. slaves. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's but right. that's what we do. Black people are the salt of the earth. We add flavor to everything. Oh, hey. Man. Wow. So if we're gonna get rid of, if we're gonna, if nobody can say it, then nobody can say it. I understand that. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Shut That's it a fair statement. It, it can't be, yo, we oh, we added an A and now it's different. No, <laughs> yeah, we know where okay. it came from. It came right. from, you know, the <laughs> destruction of black culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speak, but Tony Rock. With that said, with that said, yeah, now people are gonna be on social media. Well, you said it on stage last week. Yes, I say it on stage. I don't have to say it on stage. <laughs> it don't make my jokes. My jokes are fine with no curse words. But right. I talk to right. the audience like I'm talking to my boys on the stoop. So are you going to continue to use it? I'm giving it some thought in 2019, but first and foremost, <laughs> I'm being petty and I'm not supporting my brother because he never supported me on anything I said on social media. <laughs> any upcoming, uh, any talks for any upcoming specials in uh, 2019? Yes, 2019, I'm trying to shoot my hour special. That is my, my goal oh, for 2019, that's first that's and foremost. I have to, uh, Damon, you know the procedure. You got to showcase yeah. the hour uh -huh. first mm -hmm. and then have them come out and see it and give the thumbs up on it. And I'm oh, thinking about your girl here, uh, Madeline Woods. You know, she got some gangsta in her. And she I want Madeline Woods great, to introduce me. She would be a great special. contestant on uh, Black Card Revolt. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah don't, let, don't let the pretty looks fool her you. Black, your yeah. black card is intact, man. You, you part Always. of hip-hop, so your black card is definitely intact. Always. Tony, you remember we did that movie together? And I I did, come on, are you I really tell. asking me that question? Well, no, because your <laughs> wife was Reagan Gomez president. I was like, Tony ain't no, no, studying no, no. Madeline Woods. My wife was uh, Denise Boutte. Oh, you had Denise. Okay, yeah. okay. I, yeah, I had Denise. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean it like that. She was savory. Me too, you know. She's beautiful. <laughs> My man, shout Tony out Rock. Denise Boutte, shout out uh, Malik. Ooh. Whitfield, shout out uh, Clifton, Powell Clifton Powell was my Powell, husband. Megan. The movie is called Couples Night. You should yes. check it out. Yes. All right. Catch so me. funny. You got to check out Tony tonight through New Year's Eve. Addison yes, Improv. Addison Improv, Tony Brock, Joe Fox, Bryson Brown. Don't miss this show. Happy New Year, bro.